And now on to a developing story that is a big deal for Northern California. The family of a high school football player shot and killed in 2015 has a small amount of closure today. A judge found Camonte Lindsay guilty of first degree murder in the death of JJ Clavo. Our Becca Habegger joining us now. You were in the courtroom mm -hmm. with the families of both victims. What yeah. was that like? Yeah, you know, obviously it was an emotional day for both families. As has been said in our reporting, both families essentially lost a son in different ways, of course. Now I want to recap the details of this crime. 17 year old Clavo and some of his fellow Grant High School football teammates were driving back to school after getting some food before a playoff game. That is when five rounds of ammunition hit the car Clavo was driving. Clavo was killed. One of his passengers was injured. Police arrested 15-year-old Kimonte Lindsay. And today, close to four years after the shooting, a judge found Lindsay guilty of first-degree murder, first-degree attempted murder, and firing into an occupied car. I spoke with both mothers today. The now convicted killer's mom says she thinks the judge got his verdict wrong, but it is what it is, she says. The victim's mother says she feels numb over a broken system. I truly don't know how to define justice in my world. Um, yes, he was found guilty of all three, but yet um, he was 15 at the time of the crime. Um, he was a baby, he was a kid. Um, I don't think we should even be here. Mm, the sentencing will happen in two weeks. Before today's hearing, look at this, a powerful moment as both mothers embraced and joined in prayer. It was a sign that both women have experienced loss and they feel for each other, even as their sons are on opposite ends of this tragedy. Wow, that is mm. something to see. You do not see that often. No. All right, Becca, thank you so much for covering that for us in court today.